I'm caught up in the book. <laughs> well, you may know her from her tattooed works of art on the hit show TLC's LA Inc., but now she's taking on a whole new venture. Kat Von D is here this morning to talk about her new book, High Voltage Tattoo, which is on my bookstore shelves now. Good morning to you. Uh -huh. Do you like to be called Cat or do you like the whole name, Cat um, Von D? Well, I actually, oh well, no, Cat is fine. Cat, <laughs> My real name is way too long to remember, so Cat Von D is an abbreviation. Right. Yeah. Well, I was flipping, I was telling you, I was flipping through your book yesterday, and you kind of have some, some do's and some don'ts of, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to tattooing. And you say, basically, people that say tats don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> well, no, I think tats has become a, definitely a popular term for tattoos uh, nowadays. But, I mean, you know, the proper term is tattoos, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Some people like to call it ink and stuff like that, but they're actual pigments. So, um, you know, there's just like little details like that. But I mean, it's if you say tats to somebody, they most likely know what you're saying. Sure. Well, tell us a little bit about how you got started, because I was looking in there. You, you actually have your first tattoo still, mm -hmm. and and you did it yourself, right? When you no, were 14. Well, when, when I was 14 years old, I got my first tattoo, and it was a an old English J for my boyfriend at the time. Uh huh. And um, now, do you regret that? No, not at all. No, I think I mean all my tattoos are landmarks in time. You know, I mean, I have gotten like some uh, laser removal and stuff, but it was just to make more room for other tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> to clear the space. Exactly. So what is your fascination with tattoos? Um, well, I think that, um, you know, I don't know, it's like, it's an art form and a lot of people dismiss it because there are a lot of stigmas against it, you know, like uh, people used to think that if you were tattooed, you're either like a criminal or uneducated or, you know, a drug addict or something like that. And now, nowadays with like the help of LA Inc. and shows like that uh -huh. and the book, people are really